Hey, what's up guys? This is Robin, your host for Mokja Shekia. Today we got a special treat. We're gonna be checking out one of my favorite spots for a breakfast burrito. It's called Pepe's in Orange County. So we're gonna check that out. Stay tuned. It is the best burrito in California, hands down. It, it, you can get it with bacon or you can get it with sausage. You can get it with both. So we're gonna do both, obviously. Let's go. I first found out about Pepe's through my friend. Uh, he's, a, he's a DO, he's a doctor, he's a family doctor, and a good friend of mine from church, uh, Dr. Billy, and uh, he told me about this spot where they have the best breakfast burritos, and I think I went with them one time after or before church, and honestly, that was that was it, man. I was a convert. Um, this, is, this is the best and the biggest and the most delicious breakfast burrito. It's fresh, they use fresh ingredients. Uh, it's a little bit pricey, but it's huge, so you can share it with somebody. I think if you share it with two people, that's perfect. It's like 10 bucks, I think, for a burrito. Maybe it's gone up a little bit in price. Uh, but I generally uh, try to do it in two sittings, even though I'm super hungry. If I'm a hungry man that morning, uh, I'll go ahead and devour it in one shot. So we're gonna go ahead and exit here soon. It's right by Cal State Fullerton, guys. So if you know the OC area, if you're from Cali, uh, you probably know some of these exits. You know, Pepe's, if you've been to one of these spots, it's kind of one of those, like, we do everything. You know, they do, like, Mexican food, American food. Uh, they got everything here, guys. So it's it's a giant list. Uh, Pepe's, it's it's that Alberto's, that kind of style of uh, fast food, you know? Hello, good morning. The system is down, but you can go ahead and walk in and order. It's, a, it's faster a little. It's much faster than drive-thru right now. Oh, wow. So Even if we wait in line, we're not going to be able to order anything? Probably. It's better to walk in. Better okay. Walk in Thank you. Sorry about that. It's okay. I guess we're filming another another day then. No, honey, we're not gonna. We can't. We're not gonna wait in the rain and wait, wait in line. That's a huge line. We'll just film another day. Okay. Okay. You're starting to look super sad right now. Do you want me to just wait in line? Welcome back. <laughs> so we're gonna be going back again to Pepe's in. Placentia, I believe, or Fullerton. And uh, we're going back because we went there this morning to get our breakfast burrito, but their machines were down. So it's been about two hours. So we're gonna try back again and hopefully we'll get a couple burritos and my fiance wants to get some fries because it's nice and cold today. It's about 50 degrees here in uh, OC. It's pretty chilly. So we're gonna get some chili cheese fries to go with the chilly weather. And of course we're gonna go with the secret breakfast burrito best of OC in California Pepe's let's go there's a huge line of course there's always a huge line here so maybe we might have to go inside what do you think should we go inside no you'd rather be in the car okay guy with the camo, the bomber. One breakfast burrito with both sausage and bacon. Okay. And one chili cheese fries. Small or large? Um, I guess we'll do large. <laughs> okay. And can we get a, uh, like the large or extra large Diet Coke, please? Large Diet Coke, anything else? No, that's it. Okay, and the breakfast burritos with the pico de gallo fine? Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right. So you said a breakfast burrito with bacon, uh -huh. a breakfast burrito with bacon and sausage, a large early chili cheese fries, and a large diet coke. Actually, can we change the diet coke to regular coke? All right, a large coke. Will that be all? No, nope, that's it. Twenty-eight ninety-four. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Now we're gonna chow down in the parking lot here, cause there is no indoor dining. <laughs> Of course, of course, guys. So there's, there's some guys posted up here. That's um, not unusual. Wow, there it is. There's the huge sign, home of the world famous breakfast burrito. I totally forgot they had a giant sign there. <laughs> Got two burritos. Uh, one's gonna be the mixto, bacon and sausage. Got to check that out. I'm a happy camper right now. This thing is. This is huge, man. This has got to be at least a pound and a half. It's a lot of food. 
And of course, my ladies, she got the bacon. So that's pretty big too. They're both pretty big. Um, they're both about the same size. I think the bacon and sausage definitely has more meat. So we'll leave this one for my lady. And then for me, gotta have ketchup. So gotta get the ketchup here. So here we go. My lady wants to record me eating. Uh, not really the prettiest sight. Let me go ahead and gel in real quick, just in case. We gotta gel this COVID. Make sure we're safe. fingernails and ugh, get all the pieces all right so here we go Got that get our ketchup it's our first bite mmm mmm Very creamy. The beans really kind of mold everything together. Definitely, I can taste the crispiness of the bacon, the sausage, the eggs, the cheese, the cilantro, the pico de gallo. This is just a monstrous burrito, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. We're not gonna watch the whole thing. Let me enjoy this. I don't know if you could see the steam coming out, guys, but this looks amazing. Wow, that thing is hot. Totally melted, bro. That is craziness. See all that steam coming off? The thing about Pepe's, guys, it's always consistent. Like. I've had this burrito, what, like 10, 15 years ago, even going out to the to the docks, going fishing early in the morning, like four or five in the morning. Right one day open, I would go with my homies, pick up some breakfast burritos before we launch our boat. And honestly, it's the same burrito. It still tastes amazing. I was talking to my fiance about why or what makes this breakfast burrito different from, from the rest. And it's really a balance, right? So this burrito, is unique because it has a balance between the potatoes, the eggs, the pico de gallo, the meats, and the beans. It's ex it's a perfect balance. Most breakfast burritos you eat will be majority will be eggs and and potatoes and cheese. They, they overload it with that. But this place they really balance out the burrito. Make sure you can taste every single ingredient in the composition. That's what makes this unique. As per the chili cheese fries that my lady ordered, because it's 50 degrees out here today in California, uh, it was amazing. It actually reminded me of Tommy's. Tommy's Burgers, kind of like a chili spot uh, back in uh, when I grew up in Norwalk, Long Beach area. Tommy's, it tasted like Tommy's chili cheese fries. Great comfort food. It's not the healthiest, but it was good. I mean, it's what you expect, right? I, I, I'm not going to overhype it. Uh, it's chili cheese fries. It's what you what you think is what you're gonna get. Uh, the quality was good. It's what you what you what you imagine chili cheese fries to be. Covered with chili. Chili was delicious. There was little bits little bits and pieces of meat, and of course there was plenty of cheese to go around. And we got the large. Uh, it was ginormous. There's no way we could finish that. So, so for Pepe's, you know the value you get at Pepe's. You know initially you might think it's expensive. You know a nine or ten dollar burrito, right? But that thing is so big. It's about a pound and a half, two pounds. You're really getting a lot for your money. You're getting a lot of value. Uh, I personally think you could share it with two people. Uh, I'm a big boy, so I eat most of it. I probably eat like three quarters of it, and then I kind of save like the last quarter for maybe on the way back, you know? <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty good value, guys. Definitely check it out. If, you, if you're into breakfast burritos, you're in Orange County. 
Um, peep it out, man. Peace.